Hello, I'm Atuba George and I just love bringing God's word to you. See, the word of God is sweet. Praise God. You know, you know, Jesus said, and actually Jesus was quoting what Moses said, you know, that God said. Praise God. So actually God said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Now, do you know, if you are not receiving words that proceed from the mouth of God, you are starving. You know what it means to starve? Get excited at any time, any point. It's time to hear the word of God. See, because as you're listening to me right now, the spirit of God who's speaking through me is over there speaking through you. And things are happening. Listen, as you're listening to this broadcast, if you're sick in your body, get ready to be healed. By the time this broadcast is true, listen, I don't even need to pray for you. You know why? Because when you open yourself up to the Spirit of God, and that's all you need to do, Holy Spirit, I, I, I just open myself up to you even right now. He said, you are cleansed through the words that I have spoken unto you. So if there is any sickness in your body, that cleansing is taking place right now. And let, hear me, healing is coming on you even right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise God. We've been talking about the instruction Jesus gave in Mark chapter 16. Now look at verse 17. It says, And this sign shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. Now look at the next sign Jesus said. They shall speak with new tongue. Now this is powerful. One way I should know, or every other believer should know, that you have believed and you have been baptized. See, because if you have not been baptized, then you're not saved yet. It's, it's as simple as that. You are not saved yet. If you've not been baptized in the Holy Ghost, you are not saved yet. Now he says, those who have been baptizing the Holy Ghost will what? They will speak with new tongue. Now, speaking in tongues. Now I'm going to try to see how I can elaborate this in the short time that we have. Speaking in tongues is not a special gift for some believers. Anyone who told you that lied to you. Speaking in tongues is one sign that the Holy Ghost is now inside of you. And funny enough, that's the quickest sign any man can notice. Because, you see, that one, you don't need any external, you know, to cast out demons, you, you need to find the external place where the demon is, <laughs> except the demon is in you. But you know what? There's no way the demon will be in you and the Holy Ghost will be residing <laughs> inside of you. Praise God. But, you see, mostly to cast out demons, you need an external person. You know, that, 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 that person, the, the demon spirit is troubling him or oppressing him. Okay, I'm going to cast that demon out. But listen, this one, you don't need anybody to be there. Just right from the inside of you, the Holy Ghost stirs up new words. Words you couldn't speak before. See, now, listen, you know, when you study scriptures in the book of Acts, when the church started, you will notice something that, I mean, first of all, when the Holy Ghost fell on them in the book of Acts chapter 2. The Bible said they all spoke with tongues. They all spoke with tongues. Now, that was the day they got born again. You see, because that was the day they were baptizing the Holy Ghost. How do you know? Acts chapter 2 tells us that the Holy Spirit filled all the room where they were sitting. Now, think about it. This whole room now, if the Holy Ghost fills this room, what is that? Baptism? If, if water fills this room, for example, what, what, you say, no, I'm inside the water or I have been baptized in the water. See, to be dipped into. Now, so when the Bible says the Holy Ghost filled all the room where they were sitting, they were baptizing the Holy Ghost. <laughs> and then what happened? They began to speak in tongues. And people heard them speaking these languages that, what's going on here? Now, Study the book of when, when, when Peter went to Cornelius' house, Peter was still preaching. The Holy Ghost fell on them. See, now when the Holy Ghost fell on them, what, fell on them, what happened? They were baptizing the Holy Ghost. And then what happened? The Bible says, For they heard them speak with tongues and glorified God. 
See? So they were speaking in tongues. Every one of them in Cornelius has received the Holy Ghost. They got baptized in the Spirit and they began to speak in tongues. Don't tell me it's not for you. No, 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 no. It's for everyone who have believed Jesus. Actually, it's a way for us to know that you have believed Jesus. So he, he said, well, you know this tongues thing, I, I, I don't just want it. You know, because I don't, I don't like the way it is being done. <laughs> it's not the way anybody's doing it. It's the way the Holy Ghost is doing it inside of you. Yield yourself to the Spirit of God. If, you, if you've been a believer in your mind, and you've not been, you've not experienced this, you're missing out. Listen, use this point as an opportunity. The Holy Spirit, I think I want this right now. And trust me, as you open up your heart, the Holy Spirit is going to stay inside of you. He will fill you, and, and those words will begin to well up from inside of you. Speak it. Don't be afraid. Just speak it. Praise God. I've got to stop here. Our program is coming up this week, Saturday and Sunday, 7th and 8th of September. Don't plan to miss it for anything. It's going to be a glorious time, I know. Praise God. Until tomorrow, have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.